what's up welcome to my channel this is Meek. thank you for clicking on it today I'm going to be talking about a free plugin that you can use right in GarageBand this is one of my favorite plugins I use it on a lot of my projects okay top quality so we have pancake 2 okay and as you can see here flexible panning modulation taken to Looney extremes for free that's exactly what it is okay you can get Looney you can get you can get so creative with this okay and we all know if you don't know panning is when you program your audio to be on the left or on the right or a little bit on the left a little bit on the right or you can pan very hard now modulation is when that audio is going back and forth from left to right ear just like waves like that so panning modulation is the panning is modulating like this or like this or like this I'm telling you, it gets loony. So for me, I'll tell you, I use Pancake 2 on vocals, guitars, pianos, and uh, my hi-hats. And also for percussion, okay? I don't really use it on bass or on kick or on snare. I'm here to inform you uh, that Pancake 2 is free, and I'm going to do a little demo, but it's not going to be in-depth. Maybe later I'll do a video going in-depth. So this is a beautiful plug-in. But let me just get into it. I'm going to show you what it's like on vocals I got the guitar chord progressions I got a guitar solo and then I'm also show you how I use it with hi-hats so this is the vocal so I'm gonna put pancake shaper 2 on there you find pancake by going to audio units it's going to be in your cable guys folder and then you go to pancake 2 all right so then it's gonna pull up like this and it's gonna be on controls I don't get none of that so you're gonna click where it says view and you're gonna go to pancake 2 and it's gonna show you the interface all right so first of all as you can see this is the default and this is showing you where it's going left and this is showing you where it's going right okay and these here are some controls and stuff like that all right so you can draw some steps this snaps the waveform to show, it tells you what it does down here so snap to waveform grid when moving a point you can hold shift while moving a point to temporarily inverse this setting all right that's dope Select the analog wave uh, form sign. So this is a sine wave, of course. This is a sawtooth. All right, or a triangle. Okay, so select classic analog wave form triangle. Randomize waveforms points. So that's dope too. Let's see. So if you, so you see, I just click the randomize. And if you click the randomize, it just keep giving you. you know. Also, wear your headphones, please. Oh baby, I can see you. Are you? Call me so late, oh baby, I can see why you call me so late, oh baby, I can see why you call me so late, oh baby, I can see why you call me so late. All right, so I just did a bunch of random stuff. All right, so we're going to go to some presets, <laughs> left, right, too. Oh baby, I can see why you call me so late. Check out some different ones, presets. Hard left. Oh baby, I So you can just pan it all to the left if you want to. Oh baby, I can see why you And you can do hard right too as well. Oh baby, I can see why you call me so late. Oh baby, I can see you are you. Or you can do it like that. So I'm gonna show you how to get creative real fast. Mm. Oh baby, I can see you. Alright, so here I can change the the beat sync. So change it to 128. Oh baby, I can see you are you. Call me so that's 164. Oh baby, I can see why you call me so late. Alright, you can get you can get funky with it. Oh baby, I can see why you No I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. Oh baby, I can see you I it's just going faster. Oh baby, I can see why you call me so late. All right, let's go back to some. Oh, baby, I can see why you 
Like it's like playing with the um, hertz and it's singing. Can also um, change how much output of this you want. Oh baby, I can see why you call me so late. Oh, oh baby, sweet. All right, so that's fun. All right, so here you want to use it on like your chords. You can just have your chords just playing over there, like you know. I'll show you what I mean. All right, so I have pull up here already. So I'm playing it. Pull up a new one. Oh baby, I can see you. I oh baby, I can see you. I you call me so late. Oh baby, that's kind of dope. But for me, I put this on my head. For I mean, my hi hat. So let me go to some hi hats. Especially if you're making trap beats. Like just to have that effect and just it's just it's set a mood, so I'm just gonna just do it on my hat. You see, you put your headphones on. So if you got a beat going and a drum is just in the middle, the hi hats can be going over here to over here and never interrupts the drum. Let me know what you think, okay? So like I said, like this is one of my favorite plugins. I don't know the science of it, but I know when to use it, okay? And that's all you need to know. Like, don't get too caught up in all of the science and just knowing every little small detail about everything. Like, don't be that person that's supposed to be an artist, but then they turn into some, some person that's just obsessed with knowing more than everybody else. It ain't about that, okay? Thank you for watching.